so I was trying to be petty as hell. This whole video could have not happened because of this guy. I'm shy because I yawned. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today Ronnie and I are going to be doing arm day. I'm not really sure again. We don't really know what we're doing until we get there, but about to take my pre-workout code down below of course can't wait to get the blackberry flavor like i said this is not my favorite but it still does its job um so yeah if you're new to my channel what i do is i do workouts and it's almost step by step and i tell you what you should be thinking what you should be feeling if your arm should be a certain way and just kind of like one-on-one -on -one coaching it's a little bit more in depth than my instagram which the handle will be down there as well so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up also never forget to subscribe and share with your friends if you do like this video do you want to add anything babe tell the people hello good morning how good morning. Are you? hello you like shook when you did that I'm so swole. You're so swole. <laughs> Anyways, I'm working out with my boy. All right, friend? No, we're cutting that out. <laughs> I'm working out with my boy. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm working out with my boy. Stop! <laughs> this is our life. Okay, go to the gym. All right, you guys, here we go. We are going to start our first superset. It's gonna be back to back, two different movements just for biceps. So this first one is gonna be a cable curl and your goal is to keep your elbows super tight and close into your sides. Your elbows should be touching your hips, not letting it come up. Also, you wanna make sure you have good posture and the way you're gonna breathe is when you're coming down, you breathe in, breathe out as you pull it up and try to go slow and controlled. And we are gonna try to do some heavy weights today, um, but Going on straight into the next exercise. I've done these before in a previous video. You're just doing bicep curls in three different ways. One away from you, one in front of you, and then one towards your kind of your sides. So you're hitting the three different parts of that bicep. Now this one, I'm doing light weight because it's really, really intense. It's actually hard to go um, on a heavy weight keeping your elbow in. So you wanna just do your best. This is kind of like a little burnout. So you're gonna do each way, there's three ways, each way five times. So a total of 15 reps each arm. Then give yourself about a minute or two of rest in between this and you're gonna do this, these two exercises super set for four sets. It's gonna burn. So now we're gonna do a very similar superset, but now we're working our triceps, which is a smaller muscle behind your bicep. So you're gonna go as heavy as you can, but don't expect to do the same way you did for the biceps. Now the goal again with this is to keep your elbows hugged into your body, but you really wanna make sure that you're not allowing that bar to go higher than a 90 degree angle. Because if you allow it to go to your chest, you'll use too much momentum and you wanna keep that tension the entire time on those triceps. And then we're gonna do some single arm. With this, you're hugging in that elbow and not allowing your body to sway. So if you need to lean forward a little bit to hold yourself, you really wanna just target that tricep muscle. This again is gonna be a burnout. I love doing back to back of the same muscle group because you honestly feel like you're gonna die, but you won't, you got this, trust me. <laughs> Staying on those cables, we're gonna do another superset. We're back to our biceps, and we're gonna do single arm, as heavy as you can, very slow and controlled, 10 reps each arm. Now, if you notice, I'm hanging on to the opposite side of the cable machine. I'm kind of at an angle with my body. That way, I can relax the rest of my body and really just use that bicep to pull forward. If I was doing this straight up and straight down, and if you wanna try this, you'll actually notice your back will try to help you pull up that weight and you want none of this in your back, just in that bicep. Also, you wanna make sure that your arm 
is staying up nice and high. Do not let it drop as you open up your hand. So these are really, really intense. You're gonna breathe in as your arm goes out, breathe out as it comes back. And again, you need to make sure you're doing the same weight for each arm, building appropriately. And we're gonna go straight into a different exercise, which is going to feel like death. So for the next exercise, I'm sorry, I love you guys, it's a good workout. You're gonna try, goal is 20 reps. And you're gonna try to go as nice as you can in reform, as a reference to form, okay? So you wanna keep those elbows in nice and tight. Try not to swing, but if you are rocking a little bit, I'll give it to you, because I rocked, it's a really hard one. So just regular bicep curls, as heavy as you can go with either a straight or a curl bar, 20 reps, give yourself a two minute break, and repeat. All right guys, our final superset is gonna be back to those triceps. We're gonna do single arm. Now notice with a tricep, you wanna make sure that your inside of whatever arm is lifting up is touching your ear. You want that part to remain straight. What naturally happens is your elbow wants to point outwards and you'll notice if you go too heavy that it'll be almost impossible to keep that arm straight because your arm will wanna come out. That's because again, triceps are a smaller muscle. So I know we like to lift heavy, but lift heavy as high as you can, but make sure you get that form because the form is what's really gonna target those triceps. So you're gonna breathe in when the dumbbell comes down, breathe out as it comes up and try to go nice and slow. And at the top, you really wanna feel that tricep, but do not overextend, don't over straighten because you can lock out your elbow and cause injury. If you want, you can put the weight in between your legs like I did, or just use your body weight, and we're gonna do 20 reps of dips. And I like to have my heels up high, like you're just resting on those heels, because if you put your full foot flat down, you kind of use your legs and you cheat a little bit. So it's just another way to make it harder, because I know that's what you guys wanna hear. <laughs> but this super set, we only did two sets. If you're not dying, do a third one. But that is gonna be it as far as what we are doing lifting. And then of course, we're gonna get into some abs. My 100 day abs, the video will be in the description box below. Also, all the pre-workout I take, everything I use normally will be in that description box. So just check it out, guys. I'm so happy to be back making videos. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments if you do and what you'd like to see next. All right, see you in the next one. So, it was a great workout. I don't know if we're gonna have really good um, visuals because I was setting up this we're, camera. We're gonna have good visuals. Oh my god, you're ridiculous. <laughs> we're setting up the camera, and literally within about 30 seconds after I was setting it up, I hadn't even pressed record. Someone complained that we were recording them. A lot of people don't feel comfortable with recording, but yet people record on their phones and no one says anything. So this whole video is recorded on my phone, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm just gonna keep... I'm so sorry. This is ruined. I'm just gonna keep... Um, bringing my camera in I talked to the managers they're all really cool and, and unless they keep you know complaining half my videos might be on my phone half might be on my camera but no one is gonna stop me from recording my stuff for you guys why, so why'd you take it off me because you're burping you're being rude I had something good to say Ronnie has something he'd like to say to the fam I don't understand why that dude had to go tattle on us some people are just because we're trying to help out you know, like the gym fam. We weren't recording him. She didn't even have it set up yet. And he went to go title on us. So I was trying to be petty as hell. Yeah, so Ronnie almost ruined this whole video. Let me tell you. <laughs> like, oh, no, oh, you're going to oh, ruin the whole thing. Hold on. <laughs> Before we started setting up, I saw this guy giving his dirty look. And I was like, all right, maybe it's just some old man, like, creeping on her or just being jealous or something or whatever. So then he walks away and then this guy comes up. The the manager guy at the... At, LA Fitness and he's like, hey, some guy told her. I was like, it was that guy, wasn't it? He was like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, it was that guy. So then I was like, he kept, he walked back around like 10 minutes later after he tattled on us, he stayed away for a while. And I was like, I'm pissed at this point. 
she's trying to record a video. She's trying to get back on her YouTube game. And you know, I'm trying to be like the good boyfriend, like, you know, record and like get this content out to you guys. And this guy's trying to shut us down. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be petty. I was like, babe, record me. And she was like, if I record you, I want it to be for you, not out of pity. I was like, all right, well don't record me then. Yeah, he like <laughs> shut down. But you can't let people like that get you down. You can't let people like that stop you from doing what you want because I've been really upset not making videos. Honestly, it's been kind of getting to me and I kind of feel like I let somebody else kind of shut my stuff down and I don't like that. Well, it's because there's another couple in our gym that like to judge us a lot. Yeah. They try to and, like always give us dirty looks and they're a couple that are into fitness. You could tell that like they're super into fitness, but Anytime that me and her try to do anything as far as recording or something, they give us dirty looks yeah, or they go tattle on us too. Yeah, we the whole time. Yeah, so whatever. You know what? Spread love, not hate. You know, I'm, so I'm telling Bob Marley right now. You're Bob Marley? Yeah, that's what you'll be for Halloween. Or, you know, Black Eyed Peas, where's the love? Anyways, so we're gonna have a great day. We're gonna go to the reptile show. What else are we doing, babe? Oh, he's coaching football tonight. I'm buying an alligator. You're not buying an alligator. <laughs> Lord help me. All right, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.